what a day. It's definitely a day of, we had great intentions, but once again, those are being thrown out the window. Had intentions of getting some nutritional analysis done on feed. We were going to take some feed samples, run them up to a lab, but we're not doing that because it is pretty crappy out today. And the lab, Chris uh, and his team are up at Elsa Craig near Highway 7, which for me, driving north towards Highway 7 on a crappy snowy day here, you know it's way worse up there. It's always worse up there. So that's off the table. I uh, was going to grab a load of bales from mom and dad's. It, again, roads are crappy. Don't want to take the tractor and wagon on a salted road if we can help it because that's not good for farm equipment. That's off the table. And we now have the kids with us today because after four whole days of being back to school in 2021 so far, it's a snow day in their home. It's quite a day. But we've still got things to do. Okay, where to start? I thought we'd start here because I didn't do a very good job last week um, giving you an update on where we are with the new barn build. Partly because, honestly, there hasn't been a lot of movement on it, given a whole bunch of different things. But where we're at right now, um, Nick Heemstra actually just sent me a note this morning. He is our engineer. Uh, they just got the, like a version of the drawing that we're kind of working with. The version that he got is the one I'll pop up on the screen right now. Um, as you can see, is not a whole lot different than what I showed you probably a couple of weeks ago, I think. Uh, it just adds a lot more detail. So where our gate's gonna be, which way our gate's gonna swing, where are some of those dividers going to be, uh, water bowls. Uh, we've got that hoof trimming chute up by the one robot. Uh, we've just got a lot of different things going on with it that are that are absolutely different than, or at least, maybe not different, but absolutely got more detail at least to the drawing that we're dealing with. So I did want to pop this up to show you just where we're at with that. It's not by any means, you know, officially engineered or anything like that. It's just kind of a blueprint for where we can get started. So as I mentioned before, um, Nick's got it now. He mentioned that uh, he hopes that him and his team are going to be able to have a look at that and actually, um, you know, get that into a little more detail sometime next week. Once we get that more detail, then we'll be able to send it off to you know, builders, off to equipment suppliers, all of that type of stuff to start to be able to piece together. <laughs> piece together, how much is this going to cost? Uh, probably not cheap. Let's sit for the office for a while. We might as well go to the barn. Let's see if we stay warm enough with this. You guys are coming out when that show's over. Okay, see you in a bit. Crappy day like this, Pup. I was really not expecting you to want to go outside. I thought you'd be in all day. I guess snow is your forte. At least it's kind of done snowing, at least for a few minutes. The wind has not let up though yet. Okay, one of the jobs for the day is brushing cows. Lovely. Anyway, one of the jobs for the day is brushing cows. We, it's not a job we do every day, but we kind of like to do it once in a while. New Barn will put in automatic brushes. That'll be a nice thing. But until that point, we're the ones keeping them clean. Curry comb, I like a firm brush. 
and away you go. dad's here now he must be done his chores we got a grand corn
we're doing. Whole corn goes in, comes out of the bin, goes into the grinder. Grinder, I don't know if you can see in that window. It's just making it powder is all it's doing. Oh, that was uh, cool enough out there. Um, I think Dad and Cash are just going to put the tractors away and get the door closed up and they can kind of stay in the drive shed for the next few hours so we have to feed again. Um, in here though, I wanted to just touch base in here because it is one of the things that's going to be impacted at least after the build is so. Here we've got, this is what we call the new part. That's what we call the old part. Very technical terms around here. Uh, what we're gonna do when we build the new barn, this is after we build the new barn, after the cows move into it, we are going to tear the old part down. Uh, it is, I mean, you know, this is obviously where, you know, we've milked cows for a while. Mom and dad uh, milk cows in here. Grandpa milked cows in here. We put this part on when I came home just to be able to add more cows to the herd. This part's getting tired, this old part. We've got some beams down low that need replacing. Up in the back, mow, there needs to be some things replaced. The roof needs to be replaced. There's lots that would need to be done here if we were gonna use it for a lot more years. It's good for a little longer, but definitely getting tired. Uh, plus, it's kind of in the way of some good airflow and ventilation and breeze and all that type of thing in the summertime for where we're gonna build that barn. This part, obviously cows will move out of here. They'll go into the new barn. They'll be quite happy in there. All the stalls are going to come out and we're going to put in pens, uh, probably group pens for the calves. This is going to become our calf barn. We're going to keep in those heifers that you see us bed every once in a while. We're going to keep that as heifer pens uh, for older heifers. What we'll do with them is basically once they're off milk, little heifers will move there. And then once they fill up that, then they'll go into the new part. But that's kind of what we're thinking. So it is one of those things that over the next uh, few months, we're going to start seeing some calf barns too, because it's going to be part of what is basically going to be a pretty new place around here. Well, we're to the end of the day. Sun's starting to set, isn't it guys? Uh, but we probably can sneak in a quick skate, can't we? I think we can quick sneak in a quick skate. So we are slipping over to my brother and sister-in-laws who are just a few minutes away from our place. Uh, they've got a beautiful pond that I think I talked about in the last video, the one before, uh, kind of down in the woods. So shall we slip down? Yeah. You guys remember the way? Do you not want to wear your mittens, Cash? Yeah. Is it true that coyotes come out in the middle of the night? They can come out in the night, yep. In the middle of the night? Oh, yeah. Yep. But, one, they don't really like people. And two, this is kind of close to the house. And three, we're not going to stay till the middle of the night. We're only going to stay till kind of a little darker. He's <laughs> showing a lot of snow today. No wonder, eh? Here, I'm just going to go out and see how it, how it is. Although he was out on it, must be pretty good. 
Not too shabby, eh? You gotta go around the chair. Hey, not too shabby, guys. Whoa! I'm good. That's what hockey players do. That's what hockey players do. Just slide out, do they? I guess I need to practice stopping on condom guys. I guess. Yeah. Now this pond is basically where the trees are that's how big it is so it's it's a very big large pond it's taking a little bit of practice to figure out how to do all of this because we don't this isn't something we've ever done before down here but it's a perfect winter to do it we've got a good cold week ahead of us so while they do that i'm gonna keep going at snow because we can basically double up this size of this ice yet with another clearing. Just like that, yeah. Yeah, that's okay. Okay. That one. Well, I am sure glad Dad spent the day doing this because I haven't even been at it as long as he was. And I got, I don't know, a chunk done. We're making progress, but man, but <laughs> then you see him having fun and you think, man, that's pretty cool. Well, it's getting dark. I think I'm just going to do a couple more sweeps through this. We won't get it all done tonight and that'll be it. Good night from the farm, everybody.